Evening. It's been nearly five months since little Michael Vaughn, a five year old boy from Fruitland, was first reported missing. Search efforts and investigations into where he could be might be continue. Tonight, his mother, speaking to us tonight, believes her son was abducted and is asking that he will be returned safely home. She sat down with our Tristan Lewis for the first time. And Tristan, you've been on the story since it first broke back in the summer, and she says she is not giving up hope. Yeah, Mark and Kim, Michael's mother, Brandy Neal, says pure panic and fear is what went through her mind when she found out Michael was missing. And while she and her family are working to be more present, there is not a moment that goes by. She does not think of him. The detective and the captain brought this over yesterday. Generosity is something Brandy Neal and her family have seen a lot of in the past few months. We always put the Christmas tree up as a family and decorate it together. It's always something we do and talking with the older kids day before yesterday uh <clears throat> we weren't gonna put it up this year a donated christmas tree from fruitland high school students on tuesday decorated with ornaments another act of kindness from a community shaken by the disappearance and so this was a blessing a blessing but what she is really looking for is a clue to what happened to her son. I don't even know how to explain how you do it every day, how you keep going, but you can't give up, you have to try. Michael Vaughn has been reported missing since July 27th. Brandy was at her job that day and Michael's father, Tyler Vaughn, was watching the kids. She was scheduled to work until nine that night. She got a call at 7.04 p.m. Tyler said he couldn't find Michael. He was screaming for him and I could, I could hear the hear in his voice and I froze at the moment. Um, my coworker uh, saw me and it's like, go, and I ran, I ran, I grabbed my purse and I drove as fast as I could here. Pulling into her neighborhood that night, she saw police and neighbors everywhere, shouting and searching for Michael. It, it, it's a blur because it was all so much, but it, there were people still out in the fields at four o'clock in the morning, community, me community members, because I, I, we didn't leave outside for months. Although Brandy describes Michael as a friendly and curious boy, she says he rarely wandered off outside by himself. And the few times he did, it was never farther than the end of their street. The feeling was that he may have, may have wandered, but I didn't believe that. I didn't believe that. Today, what do you think? I believe my son has been abducted. I believe somebody took him. Not a second goes by, Brandy does not think about Michael. Even those few moments she's enjoying time with her family or watching her other kids' activities at school, she said she feels some guilt. There was uh, some jokes made and I got very emotional. And my beautiful daughter, she, Mama, it's okay not to live in sadness all the time. Like, she told me that she's like, it's, it's not good for us to live in sadness all the time. And she's right. And she said, you know, it's not that you're not thinking about him and we're not thinking about him, but we got to try, Mama. It's okay. While she tries to live in the present more, her desire to find Michael stays just as strong. She continues to ask everyone to continue to share Michael's story. Because somebody has to know something. Somebody has to have seen something. And you just try to keep pushing forward. Brandy and her family thank everyone who has been there for them throughout the past few months. And she says they continue working with the Fruitland Police Department, who she says at this time has become more like family to her. And Mark and Kim, getting Michael's name and picture out there nationwide is what she's working to accomplish. Anyone with any information, again, is asked to contact the Fruitland Police Department. Mm. I just...
Oh, it, it's heartbreaking. And I know so many people right now are praying to give her strength and her family strength as she's going through this. It's just so difficult to hear. Unthinkable. Yeah. Yeah. Tristan. No, nobody's going to give up hope for sure. Tristan, thank you.